And now, industry insights from Innovative Auto HR. Here's Sandy Zanino. Hi, everyone, and welcome to another mini episode of Auto Dealer HR. Ain't nobody got time for that. The DOL recently announced that it was pushing back the date it would propose new regulations for the Fair Labor Standards Act overtime exemption rules. You remember those pesky rules we all lost our minds about in moving into 2017. Well, the new date is uh, sometime in March 2019. Revisited will be the salary threshold for what is commonly known as white collar exemptions. Some expect the new rule to land somewhere between 32,000 and 35,000. What is really important that dealers know uh, when using one of these white collar exemptions is that each one has a duties test that must be met. Simply putting someone on salary does not mean that they are exempt from overtime. I've seen this time and time again. And since it's coming up again, maybe it's a good time for dealers to take another look. There are some overtime exemptions that uh, we often use in our industry. Become familiar with them. The 7i exemption or commission. Did you know that there are three qualifications to utilizing this exemption? Then there is the exemptions for sales, which service advisors are happily now included in partsmen and mechanics. Detail car wash and yes, lube techs are not included in the mechanic exemption. All of these exemptions have a minimum rate per hour clocked that must be met. Navigating the FLSA and overtime rules can be tricky and could get a dealer into inadvertent trouble. If you haven't had a wage and hour audit done recently, I highly recommend one. My friend and colleague David Buxbaum with Fisher Phillips is my go-to expert in automotive wage and hour. If you have questions or this video has made you say, hmm, please feel free to reach out to me or to David. Uh, wishing you all a happy day and see you next time on Auto Dealer HR. Ain't nobody got time for that. Join us again for more industry insights from Innovative Auto HR.